Okay. Um, I am now inside the um, inside Unity 3D. Um, I've dropped a Blender model into Unity to see how it worked out. I had some initial difficulties um, at the beginning. However, um, I uh, looking at the uh, some the Unity Game Development Essentials book by Will Goldstone helped me figure out uh, exactly what I was doing wrong. And uh, now that I figured that out, importing models is really a piece of cake. So I just wanted to take a few moments to show how that was done for my uh, game project that I currently have in development. Um, essentially what you do is you uh, drop the, uh, within the project assets folder, as you see right here, I have the island demonstration, island demo, that's the one that ships standard with Unity 3D. I just wanted to see how it would uh, handle my Blender model I've been developing. So within the assets folder, I made a folder called Blender right here. I put the tower uh, blend file that I've been working on, and uh, also the uh, materials that I have. Um, now, once I drop it inside the assets folder within the project, uh, the nice thing is that um, Unity automatically sees, sees it and updates it. Um, Unity uh, reads blend files natively, so I don't have to do any conversions. Uh, all the conversions that do take place occur behind the scenes. So uh, within Unity right here, we're inside the project folder right here, and there it is my, let's see how this, there's my Blender folder right here. I could expand it. There's materials. And there's the tower that I have imported and all of the different components that came with it. Now, originally what I was doing was I was simply taking this object, this tower, uh, this Blender object, clicking, uh, right, left clicking it, dragging it into the game, and um, it would it would import, but I had a lot of problems. It wasn't the the mesh was all screwed up, the, specifically the lighting and the shadowing. So I found out what I was actually supposed to do is when you click on it in your project, go to the inspector tab right here, and then within the FBX importer, um, click a few options: swap UVs, calculate normal, split tangents, um, split animations, whatever, and then click apply and it will update that so that um, even makes a nice little preview right here um, and so that it will import more easily into uh, Unity and once that's done you simply drag the uh, tower object into the game, position it, and it works out really great. Now applying the textures, I've done some very simple stuff. I'm still in the process of exploring all the intricacies. This is a, just a very new project for me and uh, a new technology. I've, I've been playing with Unity for about a day or so. Uh, I've just been really impressed that it's so easy to get sort of things up and running quickly without a lot of well, mucking around with the code. So um, I noticed right here that uh, I forgot to apply the uh, a texture to the top of the tower. So essentially what I'm going to do is I will highlight the project, uh, find the specific texture, which should be the bell tower roof, and drag it to the bell tower, and that's it. That's all you really need to do to get the textures applied to the model with inside Unity. Now the cool thing is, is I just want to see how this looks when I um, uh, in the game. So I'm going to go from scene to click to game tab, and for some reason it drug that out. I'm going to put it back in, and I click play. Hopefully this will pick up well in Camtasia, and I can just walk around inside the game. there's the tower. So, uh, Blender into Unity, lots of fun, uh, piece of cake, um, really powerful.